Hey guys, before we even get started, today, March 28th, is Brad's birthday. So please go down into the comments right now and say happy birthday Brad. Maybe leave one of your favorite memories of him on the vlog or maybe a birthday wish that you hope that he has come true this birthday. So go ahead and drop a comment below and then we'll get started on the video. As for me, I think that my favorite memory of Brad is watching him become a dad. Each of the kids holding them for the first time and watching him in the hospital uh, just form that initial bond with our kids. That was probably the highlight of our relationship. And my birthday wish for him is that I hope that he really enjoys this time that we're getting to spend together as a family with no interruptions from things like work and the real world. So uh, I really hope that he's enjoying it and I hope the kids aren't driving him too crazy and that he has an awesome, awesome birthday. Happy birthday, Brad. So here's the deal. We did a really, really hilarious, fun video where Brad did my makeup knowing absolutely nothing about doing makeup. You will see that in the following video. We posted this on our other channel, Brad and Rach, the kids are in bed, and I had edited it, edited it, mistakenly using a song that we had the rights to use on this channel, but not our other channel. So we had to take it down, but it's so good that we need it to be live somewhere. So we decided to post it on this channel. So we hope that you enjoy it. At the very end of the video, we're gonna do a quick update on Eloise and just life in general today. So stick around till the very end and enjoy the video. Physician's formula, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. Insta ready, I don't know what this is. What is that? What is it? <laughs> that didn't work. <laughs> oh shit. Have you ever seen a woman put on mascara before? No. <laughs> Clear complexion sealer. Oh, is this for your lips? You look a little bit like a whore. <laughs> hey, I'm Brad. I'm Rach. We have a special edition, Brad and Rach, the kids are in bed today. We do. Should we start by talking about the evolution of our channel? If you're new here, sure. yeah. we have three kids, two and under. We enjoy drinking a drink. Cheers. And talking about stuff. And we enjoy each other mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. And cool. talking. So this actually started as a podcast, which we had like seven or eight episodes. And then you I had a baby. Yeah, then you delivered baby Eloise. Yes, and then we realized it's just a lot easier to set up a camera than it is to set up equipment. You need to have a podcast sound good when all you can do is hear it. Right, and then it was just second nature to us to do YouTube videos mm -hmm. and doing podcasts, it was learning a whole new skill. So the whole idea of this channel actually came from Brad, and he said that he wanted to do review kids I wanted, I wanted to like play with toys and drink and record it and talk about it and yeah. review it. That's how we started. But YouTube really has come down on channels that are geared towards, even though this was gonna be a channel geared towards adults. Right, they, more of a review. They basically demonetize channels that are catered towards children. Or could even be interpreted that way. So, so now we just talk about life. Yeah, so now it's adult stuff. And like baby products, not necessarily toys. Yeah, and and toys. Like our very first episode was magnet tiles, right? And Picasso tiles. Yep. So today, <laughs> that's a long way. So to then, say. yeah. So then it kind of turned into couples therapy, and now we're just kind of doing we're fun, just bored because fun we're... topics that we think. So what are we what are we doing tonight, honey? So tonight, Brad's gonna do my makeup. I just washed all my makeup off, and I. You can do this at home. I like to do, when I'm cleaning off my makeup, I like to do a nice uh, warm compress massage. It really helps express the meibomian glands of your eyelids and helps your tear film. So you just take a warm washcloth, hold your eyes closed and massage. With the pressure that you would use to color with a crayon, pretty good pressure that you can do. And so I just did that and realized like how red my eyes look after I do something like that. I have some Lumify. You wanna do it? Yes. Okay. Let's do, do one eye. Well, okay. Yeah. I was going to say, do your eyes and then, okay. It, we'll just do one eye. We'll do Lumify in one eye. But I was talking more about the skin around my eyes. It gets really red when I do that. Yep. However, so do my eyes. Let's do one eye with Lumify and then we'll compare at the end of the video. So this is pretty new from Bausch & Lomb. Basically, it's like the new and improved Visine. It's not going to give you the rebound hyperemia like Visine does. You have a whole bottle of Lumify? Yes. From where? 
from the drug rep, of course. This is not a sponsored video, but we're doctors. Although if we're you're doctors. looking for a sponsor, Lumify. <laughs> <laughs> we're eye doctors, so we get free stuff like this. Yeah. You gonna do my right one? Sure. Or the two drops. You really don't even need makeup. Oh, that's so sweet. You had pretty bad acne a couple days ago. I did. Thanks for pointing that out. You're the one that pointed it out. You, and you're like, yeah, you do. <laughs> I did not say I that. I looked like a teenager. I didn't say that. I don't know what it was. I'm sure it was, you're all freaking stressed out. I don't know why you would be stressed out. I just brought, this is my bag of everyday makeup. I brought it out. I'm not gonna say a word about what goes where. I will Ooh. say I, usually use all of it when I do my everyday makeup. Okay, that's good and, to know. Um, here, so, you wanna get a clip of what's in here? I'm yeah, gonna, I'm why don't gonna... you dump her out? Yeah. So I've never... Again, a sweet setup here. I've worn makeup before in high school when I was in a musical. I played Daddy Warbucks. Um, and then in Flowers for Adrenon, I was Dr. Strauss. So I was in both of those and wore makeup for both of those productions. Okay. Hopefully they'll say what they're for. Got my everyday makeup here. Okay. Go ahead and line them up in whatever order you think that they would go well, in. Well, I'm just gonna line them up and what they look like they go on. Ooh, I can taste the Lumify. And then the back of the throat. Ugh. I obviously know those are down. For eyelashes. Oh my God, I'm terrified. <laughs> I just realized how scared I am. So this is foundation, right? You do this first. Not, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm gonna try. Skin finish, I'm assuming you do that last. Insta ready. Okay, let's go. All right. Gosh, you can already see a huge difference in my eyes. If you can get Lumify on Amazon, it's just an over-the-counter eye drop, but we'll try to find the link, put it in the description below. I'm a huge believer in it. We usually will do it on one eye in a patient in the exam room, and then at the end of the exam, compare if the patient is worried about the fact that their eyes look red and they have no other symptoms of dry eye that we need to treat. They just want to deal with some occasional redness. So So this is a this says foundation. I'm picturing that foundation goes on first. Okay. And this is but this is a stick, so I've never I've literally never seen a stick foundation before. Um but I feel like this powder is a foundation, but it it looks like you don't use this very often. Okay. Okay, I think this MAC one is gonna go on last because it says skin finish. Okay. And Insta Ready Physicians Formula Beauty Balm BB Cream BB BB BB. I don't know what the heck that means. Hmm. Okay, so I think I'll do this one first. All right. And probably get the high area. <laughs> I don't know if this is right. You do make them up there. Okay. I think that's a good start. Now I'm going to... Okay, I think that looks pretty darn good. Okay, I'm gonna do this one next. Physician's formula, whatever it is. I don't know what it is. What is it? <laughs> Hold on, how are you, how are you? I'm gonna use this egg thing. What is that? I don't know what that is. I'm not gonna use that. Okay, let's see what this is. Insta ready, I don't know what this is. <laughs> A BB cream. Uh -huh. BB cream. Is this for blemishes? Blemishes! Is it for blemishes? <laughs> Isn't that the blemish you just created? <laughs> I'm that's, just kidding, I genuinely have one. Thing. That's the only one that you have. Now I'm gonna paint that in. I actually bought that for our wedding. Really? Mm -hmm. That long ago? Mm hmm. Must not use very much. It just doesn't, it usually doesn't need to go in very many places. <laughs> 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 or if you have a different style, you could put it on your entire face. <laughs> okay. 
All right, so now we need to do your eyeshadow, which I'm assuming the eyeshadow is this tiny one, hopefully. I went to a MAC. Close your eyes. Um, what do you call like the places that are in the department store? Yeah, like a uh, MAC counter. Yeah. And her and I like talked through what I imagined my wedding makeup to be. And she went, went ahead and like did a full face of makeup for me. And then I just purchased what I wanted of the things that she used on me. And I think most of it I still have and I still use. I will say, I said I use all of this stuff. I definitely don't use eyeshadow every single day. No, no you don't. Okay, look at me. Yeah, perfect. It's all very subtle, isn't it? Yes. Okay, what's this? All May Clear Complexion Sealer. Oh, oh, is this for your lips? Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's not for your lips. Is it for your lips? <laughs> Not for your lips. <laughs> <laughs> what is that for? Oh, <laughs> I'm gonna mess up my makeup. Oh no! <laughs> oh shoot! <laughs> <laughs> You messed up my perfect makeup. I know, girl. I'm sorry. I don't, I need to blot. I need to blot with the tissue. Oh, okay. I got blot with the egg. Oh, okay. Oh, God, that's hilarious. <laughs> I'm surprised you let me do it. Oh, it's lip stuff. <laughs> oh, gosh, I can taste it. Of I mean, this looks like lip stuff. Do you want me to tell you what it's for now? Yeah, what is it? Dark circles under your eyes and blemishes. Oh. It's a concealer, so you put that on underneath your foundation. Oh, you're supposed to put this on first? Yep. Oh. On any problem areas. Okay. That's hilarious. I tried to put it on my lips. Oh, you didn't bring out any lipstick. I mean, it's not, it's just not in my, I have like a chapstick that acts as my color. Ah, uh, so okay. Oh, right, so it's chapstick. It, it is, well, that's, that's just regular chapstick. Oh, okay. I have a color, here, let me get my, the color I use. But first, I'll be doing the Scandalize Curve Alert. All right, here's my color. It's just the Burt's Bees Plum. I've been using it since before we started this channel. It's my fave. Are you supposed to close your eyes? Um, I don't. Okay. Have you ever seen a woman put on mascara before? No. <laughs> Let me get a little closer so you can see what he's doing. <laughs> oh, shit. oh wait, maybe you go like this. Okay, now let me get that black off. Yeah, let me do this first. Put too much on. You look a little bit like a whore. That didn't work. <laughs> oh shit. Well, I tried. And now, Burt's Bees Plum. Okay, go ahead. Good. Other than your eye, I think you look great. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like I did? You did really, really well, honey. Really? Mm hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's look not bad. Look at the bad. huge difference between your two eyes. Lumify really works. 
Lumify Eye, non Lumify Eye. Again, this is not a sponsored video, but I did get the product for free. Uh, not to do in a video. Okay, how do I get that off? So if, you want to wait? If I could get that off, you'd look beautiful. Rule number one with mascara is that it dries flaky, okay. not not wet. When it first goes on your skin, it's wet. So you want to wait. You want to fight your instincts to immediately wipe it off and wait until it's completely dry, and then all you have to do is go at it with a brush. Unless you put a crap ton on there. <laughs> Which probably I did. And it'll usually just come right off. Here, let me try. With a brush. Oh, and that's my, that's my, I mean he literally like smashed my eyelashes that were wet onto my, onto my cheek. So in his defense, that's, that's not something you would normally do with your makeup. Uh, you did, you did well. I mean for not even knowing what any of this stuff is. Yeah, I, I think you did. Yeah, I think you look great. A great job. Thank you. Any tips for next time? There won't be a next time. No, 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 there won't be. No. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that. We had a lot of fun filming it and he will not be doing my makeup again. But on our channel, maybe tomorrow, Brad is gonna be doing my hair. He's not excited about it. He doesn't wanna do it because he's afraid he's gonna look like an idiot. But I told him that that's kind of the point. If he were good at doing hair, then it wouldn't be funny. But I mean, maybe he'll surprise us all. I don't know. So update on Eloise. Her outlet sock, I, I contacted the company, of course I contacted her pediatrician. I can't believe that that wouldn't be a given, but I guess I didn't mention it. So of course I talked with her pediatrician. We did a firmware update on the outlet monitor itself. Since it's a hand-me-down monitor that we used for, I mean, close to a year on the twins, and it had been over a year since we used it, they, they said it was probably something where we needed to do an update on the monitor itself, so we did. And luckily we haven't had any issues since. So we're just monitoring it closely and making sure we're taking it very seriously, putting it on her for every single nighttime and nap time sleep, and so far so good. So, so we'll see if that continues to be the case, I hope so. Regarding her surgery, I wish I could tell you more, but it's literally changing by the day. So we're gonna have videos coming up where we're going through day by day of this roller coaster of, is she having her surgery? Is she not having her surgery? Um, and that is, if you guys haven't been along with us for very long, to uh, remove a stint that they had to put into her kidney, running to her bladder. They had to bypass or connect two ureters that she had coming off of one kidney, and the stint is supposed to help all of that drain properly while things healed. So they need to get the stint out at some point, and I think they said by six weeks. So we're just waiting to see if with all of this stuff going on, if we're gonna be doing that, or if we need to wait. So we'll try to keep you posted. We literally don't know what we're doing, so um, we'll keep you posted as we know. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you have not already subscribed. Check out our other channel, Brad and Rage, the kids are in bed. We did a really fun live Q&A yesterday, so that video is live. We did film the Q&A and it posted, but I don't think it was like visible, so we reposted it today and that will serve as today's video. Please go over and check that out and subscribe to that channel if you haven't already and we will see you guys next time.